wanted to talk a little bit about effort. How hard should we work when we're doing our sets of each exercise? So we have basically two different modes of definitions for how hard we want to work. One is called absolute failure and the other one is called technical failure. Absolute failure is where you keep lifting your weight, just like Mike's doing here, he's gonna keep going and going until he can no longer lift this weight any longer. That's called absolute failure. So he will fail on this lift and he's actually gonna need help just like that. So that was, I think that was about eight reps and he could not complete eight reps without failing. That's called absolute failure. There's another form of failure that we define in the guidebook called technical failure. That's where you perform your exercise and at the point where your form breaks down, that's what we call technical failure. So go ahead and do another set and keep going until your form breaks down. Now, typically with technical failure, you don't need somebody to help you complete the rep. You can complete it, but your form breaks down. So let's watch Mike as he goes until it's not good form anymore. Down slow, he's going up and there he's starting to lose his form. Now he could have racked that, I just wanted to make sure that we were safe, but his form broke down because the weight was, the weight was too heavy at doing that many repetitions. What I am instructing you to do, what I think is best based on the scientific literature, is you do your sets until about two repetitions shy of absolute or technical failure so that you are still able to do as many repetitions as you want with good form. The research supports this because there's no difference relative to muscle hypertrophy if you stop within three repetitions shy of failure or if you take it to failure. So go ahead and do one last set. And again, I'm gonna ask Mike, take this to where you could only do, where you think you could do one, maybe two more repetitions with good form. Good. And this form still looks perfect and it's explosive on the way up, slow on the way down, perfect. And as soon as you get to where you don't think you can do two more good reps, which was there, we would stop the set at that point. Please know you don't have to go to the point where you cannot lift the weight. You don't have to do that. You get just as much of a stimulation for maximizing hypertrophy when you stop even a few reps shy of failure, whether that's absolute failure or technical failure.